Today, I am going to test the Najay Master 2S Plus, which comes with an A40640 dual beam laser module that claims to have an optical output of 15 watts. I am going to put it to the test to see how it performs at laser engraving and laser cutting plywood, hardwood and acrylic and even stainless steel. I am also going to test how it engraves anodized aluminium, measure its laser spot size and compare all the results to other machines I have tested previously. This machine has limit switches, which is very nice. The sides of the machine are made from acrylic. Due to the simpler mechanical construction, the machine is not very stable, and it is recommended to attach the machine to a fixed base. It is also recommended to check if the laser head runs parallel with the work surface. The tilt can be adjusted by untightening two screws on each side. I use a mild steel plate as my work surface which allows me to fix materials with magnets. The machine does not come with a focusing block, so I had to figure out the optimal focus distance by engraving an angled board to see at which distance the laser spot starts to become the smallest. The optimal focus was achieved by setting the laser module's heatsink 20 mm above the work surface, so I could use a block of aluminium as a quick and easy way of focusing the laser. First let's make an alignment test to see if the machine can start engraving on the same exact position multiple times in a row. I start by engraving a word on a small piece of wood, then I manually move the laser head away and calibrate home position again. Then, I engrave the same thing two more times to see if the lines align. This process can't be done with machines without limit switches and comes useful when making engravings in multiple operations. One thing that bothers me is that one of the motors sits quite low and even a 6mm board bumps into it. Because of this, you can't have the board sticking below the motors which reduces the useful range of the machine. This can be avoided by raising the machine a little bit. First, we are going to do the standard engraving test on poplar plywood. But because this machine is twice as powerful as other machines I have tested, I had to modify the test pattern a little bit. The power scale test shows us how the engraving performance is affected at different speeds. In this test I have omitted the lowest speed and added a higher speed of 3000 mm per minute, because at low speeds this machine has burned through the material very easily. The interval test is especially good for determining if the machine has a square or rectangular laser spot shape, as it progressively increases the distance between each engraved line when scanning horizontally and vertically. Here I also had to reduce the power levels for each set. The photo engraving test is there to see how much detail you can get when engraving a photo. The results are good. This machine has a lot of output power. Notice the new speed ranges and lower power at interval test and photo engraving. This machine does not have the best air management as it leaves a lot of smoke stains on the wood. Compared to other 5 watt machines, this machine performed worse at photo engraving which was expected, but it should be better at cutting. Notice the different power levels with the interval scale and photo engravings and higher speeds at power scale. You can compare the results of all the machines I have tested on my website hobbylasercutters.com. Link in the video description below. Next, I engraved the test pattern on black anodized aluminum. 
This test showcases the engraving precision, laser dot size and shape, and overall laser output power. The main feature of this test is the interval test in vertical and horizontal direction to further evaluate the laser spot shape, as the engraving on anodized aluminum comes out very crisp and detailed, and therefore it is easy to clearly identify the laser spot shape. Compared to the Sculptfun S9, the laser spot size appears to be bigger. Let's see the details with a microscope. Due to the simpler mechanical construction, there are visibly more vibrations when engraving text. The next test on the list is the focus distance test. I start by placing three 3mm acrylic sheets on the laser bed and place the wood board on top. Then, I focus the laser optimally and engrave the text and the first square with 0mm written in it. 0mm is the optimal focus. Then, I keep removing the 3mm sheets one by one without readjusting the focus to see how the laser beam shape looks further away from the optimal focus. I also did the test at minus 3 millimeters, just to confirm that my laser is properly focused. Compared to the Sculptfun S9, the Najay has a larger laser spot overall, but with double the power it should still cut very well. And now let's see how Najay performs at cutting 3mm, 6mm and 10mm poplar plywood boards. I run the cutting tests at 300, 600 and 900mm per minute, both in horizontal and vertical cutting direction. I will not include clips of all the cutting tests in this video, but on my new website hobbylasercutters.com you will find detailed images and results of all the tests I did. This machine cuts very well. It can cut 10 mm poplar plywood in 9 passes. Here is how the Sculptfun S9 performed for the same task while having less than half of the output power. I also tested the performance at cutting pine, beech and oak hardwood. I also tested the performance at cutting 3mm and 10mm thick black acrylic. I tried cutting 10mm thick acrylic in two ways, one with normal focusing, and the other with a focus point lowered by 3mm. But the result was about the same. It took around 50 passes to cut through which makes the machine a bit unpractical at cutting the acrylic this thick. Lastly, I tried engraving the stainless steel that I blackened with a black spray paint. I used a very slow speed of 100 mm per minute and full power. The engraving is quite dark. This machine can definitely engrave stainless steel. Here is how the result compares to the Sculptfun S9. You can find a purchase link for this machine in the video description.
It is one of the most capable laser cutters I have tested so far. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.